Maori know the importance, the economic importance of land. Unfortunately, much of our land was taken by laws that were enacted by a government who were hungry, uh, although they talked about a treaty, they had their interpretation, Māori had his interpretation, and so we allowed land to exchange land. And in the end, quite a lot of our land went like that. Others, our land went because Māori protected their land and for their food source. And it was always important that the land, not only for food source, but a place where the people can roam and roam freely and interconnect between the, the Earth Mother and the people. And so we're saying the time has come to find out how they got that land. And so there are legal battles now. And we've set up the Treaty of Waitangi. For all of our people, our people for some 200 years been trying, our elders been trying to get that land back, but could never do it because they didn't understand the law. We didn't have enough lawyers. Now we've got lawyers who have gone and learnt all about the environment and uh, the, the legal aspect and then the aspect in terms of people feeling for the first time they start to ask people, what does the environment mean to you? And we're learning that if we start losing too many of our trees as a result of some of us taking biology and the sciences that we could deplete our earth of uh, plants that generate oxygen, CO2 or what absorbs CO2, whatever happens. And these are very important. So we're madly going around now trying to bring land back and then planting trees on it before the trees, most of us, a lot of our native trees have gone in favour of the fast-growing uh, pinus radiata. Takes 25 years, mature, and then the almighty dollar comes. And then the the totara tree, the softwood that we use for carving fine houses like this, the manuka, the hardwood tree that we use for the taiha and for making tokotokos, uh, walking sticks and the fighting sticks, those have been now used for firewood uh, and um, oh, other, other kinds of trees have been taken over and uh, in its place or under its leaves they got things called, I think they call it marijuana, uh, all of that, and noxious weeds. And a lot of our people think they're tomato plants. So they are starting to overtake a lot of our land. And now a lot of our Maori people are getting tied up in that area. But there are a lot of also Maori people who are saying, we need to save the land. We need to save Mother Earth. We need to put back into Mother Earth the food that it's been giving us. We need to return it back and enrich. And then you got uh, all those people who managed to get big lots of land, plots of land. Uh, they're trying to get two, three crops out of it and overworking Mother Earth. The majority of Maori are of the opinion that we need to regenerate the, uh, the, the right types of plants you know, enable to, to feed Mother Earth so that Mother Earth will continue to provide us with those things that from our birth to our death provide us with all those things around it and on it. The Earth, the waters, the environment, we're talking about the waters, and Māori have their own fishing grounds, but now the, uh, the powers that be, the government, are saying um, you don't own the foreshore, it belongs to the European, or it belongs to all people. And Māori was saying, the rocks that used to be there, most of the rocks had a name, 
And you could say you can go to Tokanui, to the big rock, and over there you can take the muscles that you want, and you can go to Tokaroa, to Long Rock, and there you'll find the abalone, the power. And then you can go to Tamanui, and Tamanui means large sun. And there, over there, you'll find the sea urchin, the sea eggs, the kina. Now, now you don't worry about that. People just come in holes, bowlers, take what they want, and they rape not only the, the, the floor of the, the sea, but they rape all the food that's growing in, around, and on those rocks. And in the end, the cupboard, the store cupboard of the Maori people is gone because people are not going from the land, they're coming from the sea on the big boats and taking, uh, taking the food. All right, now they've got a 200 zone that people got to keep at, boats got to keep at. But then Japanese don't understand our language. They don't understand some of our words. So they, not foolishly, but uh, um, mistakenly, uh, cross over that all important line, not to, and you can. And uh, they c come into that 200 mile zone and start to fish until they caught. And then they swear that they didn't understand the law or that there were conditions on that area. So Maori are becoming uh, quite astute now at reading laws and watching what's happening out there. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of our Maori who cannot, they're not uh, articulate. And so we're using people who may be articulate but have no feeling for the land that I own, have no feeling for the trees that grew up here, have no feeling for anything, but they're good lawyers. But that's not good enough for us. You, you fight, or even if I got to say, to the death, because we're fighting for the land on which our grandparents, our parents lived, survived, and died, and buried. And so land now is becoming not just an econ economic uh, 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 thing, but it's also uh, uh, an area where we can keep reminding our people there's history here. This is where your grandmother, grandfather lived. This is where you were able to acquire all the good things that you got from this place, from that rock, from that water, from those trees, the birds that used to be there. That's the place of it. We want you to revive it again. But it's going to take another 50, 60 years, maybe 70 years, for some of the trees to grow. Uh, some of our native plants takes 120 years before they're uh, able to be worked. So I'm not going to see it in my life, but by God, I'm going to fight hard to make sure that the environment that we have now is not, it's not good enough. We have got to work and work hard to make sure that not only we can nurture the land, the trees, the waters, and the waterways, but also uh, uh, teach our own young people to care for it.